Well, I'm, I'm working in the field of uh, food and feed safety, so we're looking at all kinds of uh, residues and contaminants, residues of veterinary drugs, of pesticides, uh, natural toxins like mycotoxins. Well, first of all, uh, the scope. The scope is wider, so you cover more compounds into one method. We try to get more information out of one sample that is being taken. Uh, with full scan analysis, it's easier in terms of, uh, of, the, of the, the measurement. So rather than setting the instrument up for all these targeted type of, of measurements, which need optimization for every individual compounds, this is basically you have an extract, you run it, and then later on you decide what type of information you want to know uh, from this raw data. The techniques we are using that uh, are typically grammatography with uh, advanced mass spectrometry, full scan type of uh, mass spectrometers, which uh, have developed over the past uh, few years uh, to a level that we think we can apply them in, uh, under routine conditions. Well, the challenges is that when you're, t when you're going to do this type of com comprehensive screening type of analysis, there's not much you can do in terms of sample preparation, so you end up with very complex extracts. Um, and that calls for instrumental methods that um, are very sensitive because the best way to deal with uh, high loads of co-extracted matrix is dilution. Of course, the Orbitrap is well known for its very high uh, mass resolving power uh, and high mass accuracy and we hope to benefit from that in terms of uh, selectivity especially. We would like to have the same sensitivity and the same type of selectivity as we are used to have now with a triple product pole instrument, but then with an unlimited scope of analysis. So far we have, we've done some, some first experiments, so of course it's a bit too early to be very elaborate on it, but um, the first impression in terms of sensitivity, sensitivity is that it's, it's, it's quite impressive. What I expect is that the resolving power of the instrument is, is, is way higher than, than what we see with, uh, with for other instruments in the, GC, uh, in the GC domain so far. So my expectation is that the, um, the selectivity will be better, the mass accuracy will be better, or, or at least meeting our expectations for this instrument.